getting out of the kitchen now to talk about another appliance that really has an impact on energy savings, and that is the heat pump that's being installed right now. Blaze Johnson and Tony Ketchum are handling the installation, which involves setting the heat pump and then hooking it up to the air handler and the coil inside. Nice thing about heat pumps is they can handle both heating and cooling using the same type of equipment that air conditioners use. With advanced technology and efficiency, this heat pump is also effective now in a lower temperature range. So for many parts of North America, this is all you'll need for both heating and cooling. Well, we have Rob Lambert with us today to explain how this unit works. Let's start by talking about the variable speed nature of the whole thing. Okay, this unit has a variable speed compressor that does a couple of things for you. One, it matches the needs of the home closer than the standard system, and two, it runs very efficient. This unit and every other air conditioner and heat pump out there has a compressor in it. Now, I brought a cutaway compressor here to kind of show the, some of the differences between what this unit has and what normal have, because it's kind of buried underneath some sound protective equipment in there. But uh, as far as the scroll piece, the piece that does the pumping of the refrigerant in and out, that is identical, really, to a scroll compressor. There's millions of them out there in the field today. Uh, very highly reliable compressor. People in the, in the industry are very familiar with that piece of it. But the biggest difference is the motor. There's a motor on here that we control the speed on uh, from our total range of operation. There's also some sensors in here that we use in our communication scheme. There's a sensor on the scroll plate and there's a sensor in the motor. So we know what those temperatures are at all times. And that helps our communication process to uh, make sure the system's running at peak efficiency and uh, reliability at all times. And the beauty of the variable speed is you don't have to always run the unit at 100%. If it's just a little cool outside, mm -hmm. uh, you can just fire it up with just the minimal amount and you save a lot of energy by that. That's now. correct. This is a three ton system. It'll go down to 40% capacity. So it'll run at that minimum capacity when it doesn't need to run uh, at the full because it, it's got that wide range of operations so it can match what's needed at the time better than a standard system. But it also runs at higher efficiency. So at the lower speeds, it's much more efficient. So if we can run those low speeds for a little longer periods of time, it helps with your comfort level and your efficiency as well. Now in the winter time, or let's say late fall, this can also help you get some heating in the house, down to a certain level of temperature. Right, and, and that level is quite a bit better with the green speed system than other systems. Because we have the variability on the compressor, so as it gets, it gets colder outside, it's smart enough to know it's able to run at higher speeds to bring that heat. So it can run uh, much more efficiently than the auxiliary heat down to a uh, low, lot lower temperatures. And of course efficiency, that's what gives you energy savings. Exactly. With this unit, we've got efficiency ratings as high as 13 HSPF, which is a significant leap uh, over what we've had uh, in the industry before. But the interesting thing too is along with that for cooling, the same unit can get you up to 20 and a half sear. That's a very high cooling efficiency along with that heating efficiency, which is uh, really significant. But bottom line, if you're in a northern climate, you'll probably have a, a hybrid backup. You'll have a gas furnace somewhere in the house. That's correct. In, in this home here today, it has a gas furnace. It's got the, the green speed intelligence theme. That will kick in as it gets colder, maybe in the teens. Depends on what the balance point is of this particular home. And of course, all the stuff has to be controlled. It does have to be controlled. Uh, we've got our infinity control, the whole green speed intelligence uh, system is what this is. So the nice thing about it is we only need to bring two control wires out to the outdoor unit versus a lot more wires than that for standard because this is a communicating system. We're sending little packets of information over a fewer wires instead of just a signal that says turn on or turn off. So the intelligence of the system knows what's happening at all times. The beauty of the infinity control is you know, not only will it show you, you know, the indoor temperature, outdoor temperature, humidity set point, but it'll also tell you things like when you need to change your filter. There's also maintenance reminders in there, uh, setups for your, your humidity set points, not just dehumidification, but also humidification, because this can also control a humidifier in the wintertime. Now this also helps out on humidity in the summertime in a couple different ways. It does. If the humidity is high and the temperature is not quite, it doesn't need a lot of cooling to get the temperature down, it'll run at a lower speed for a longer period of time than a standard system. So that allows, that gives the system time to remove humidity from the air. And with all the heating and cooling capacity, I mean, it seems like it would make a lot of noise, but that's not the case. Well, we've done a lot of things to the system to uh, keep the sound down as much as possible. It's got the silencer system in it, so it's got a fan that keeps the air noise down as low as possible. We put 
double insulating sound blanket over the compressor to keep the sound level down. We've got a laminated sound plate in between the compressor and the bass pan. All of those things absorb vibration, absorb the sound that emanates from the unit and keeps it as quiet as possible in both cooling and heating modes. Well, thanks so much for joining You're us. You're welcome.